So these are the new Lely astronauts. This is an A5, so it's the fifth generation of the Lely astronaut. The reason why we've put this system in is this is a voluntary milking system. So the cows can access this system whenever they choose to be milked, not when we decide to milk them. So these machines are gathering data from all different points. Um, they're gathering data from inside here through the milk flow, and they're measuring everything from yield to butter fat constituent content, fat protein, uh, lactose, cell count, back to scans, all those sorts of things have been analyzed inside this machine. And then from the head itself, it's analyzing teat placement, it's taking the weight of the cow, the live weight, both pre-milked and after milked from the weigh floor behind me, the floating plate. And it's also taking uh, readings of how much food is going into the cow. It's got two solid feeds and a liquid feed on this machine. The data from all of the Lely astronauts goes over to the new data hub, which is the new classroom. And that's the key element to this project. Uh, milking cows is really only a means to an end. The, the actual end goal of this project is to harvest all this data and put it into a room where it can be analysed, it can be pulled apart by students or external people. So we can also get uh, farmers that have already got this kit on farm that are not using it to its potential. We can get those farmers in and actually let them understand what is possible. We can bring engineers in that are working on this kit and actually get them to explore the data even further and then potential customers and learners as well, uh, both FE and HE. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm just about to finish my Level 3 Extended Diploma in Agriculture. Towards the end of the year, my placement, I obviously we had the conventional dairy, but then we started to put in the robots. Um, and as we were setting up the robots, I helped along. And since they've been up and running, I've been set up everywhere here as well. I wouldn't probably have had the opportunity to work on the robots themselves, um, but it's been a good experience to see everything being set up and how, to, how the cows have been trained and now all the information that it that it puts out now and then obviously running the parlour alongside it um, it's not a lot, it's not um, what people do tend to either have one or the other so running both systems it's been a good experience. So we put cows onto this system uh, in late February. The first few weeks of introducing cows to a system like this is, is difficult so obviously you have to train the cow from being a traditional herd animal and moving as a group to becoming an individual again she can volunteer to be milked here at any point. So you have to break that cycle of being a herd animal and back to an individual. We manage individuals through this system. We introduce fresh carved cows into this system about once a week, usually on a Monday. Uh, we allow the cows to carve Friday, Saturday and Sunday, group them up and then we introduce them into here on Monday. So there's a constant flux of training new cows uh, and old cows exiting the system back onto the traditional parlour. But all in all, it's working really, really well. Cows at the moment are averaging about 3.7 visits a day. So they come to this machine on average about 3.7 visits each day, and that generates 39 litres of milk. So the system's been in now about three months, and as far as cow welfare is concerned, it's been absolutely fantastic. We've seen an increase in lying time, so the cows in this shed are resting more often. They're resting on average about three hours a day longer than the cows on the traditional system. And that's partly due to the fact that they can volunteer to milk whenever they feel, they feel ready. So they can spend the rest of their time either eating or lying down, which is what they should be doing. Um, we've seen an increase in expression of bullying activity in this shed, so their fertility has increased. And that is, is akin to the fact that they're lying down more often. They're having a more relaxed life. Um, the actual materials, the actual kit has been absolutely fantastic. We've had very, very few problems, a few teething issues, but very, very few problems. And the kit's just worked out of the box. So now it's up and running. The learners can come onto farm. They can get a direct comparison between traditional parlour, traditional cubicles, and the traditional method of milking cows, and a truly fully automated system where cows can volunteer to milk whenever they're ready.